Hi, my name is TJ, and this is my buddy Patriot with Canine Sports Sack. Today we're here to show you how to choose the right size carrier for you and your dog. As you know, every dog and breed is a little different, so we want to make sure that you have all the information you need to choose the carrier that fits just right. Choosing the right size is essential to having a great experience using a Canine Sports Sack backpack carrier. Before we talk about sizing, it's important that you understand how our carriers work because it will help you measure and size your dog correctly. The size dimensions of the dog compartments are the same across all canine sports sack backpack carriers, regardless of the model. For example, the size small Air 2 has the same size dog compartment as the size small Navigate. All of our backpack dog carriers have these four features a dog compartment, a dog base, a collar enclosure, and two front leg holes. While in the carrier, your dog should be sitting upright with their bottom on the dog base, their head and neck coming out of the collar enclosure, and front legs coming out of the leg holes. Our backpack carriers come in a variety of sizes, but it's important to remember that not every carrier model comes in every size. And for your safety and comfort, we have established a recommended weight range and limit to each carrier model. So make sure to pay close attention to that before purchasing. All right, let's get started. So a few things you'll need before starting. First, obviously you're gonna need a dog. And today I'm joined here by my buddy Patriot. Okay, sit boy, sit, sit. <laughs> if you don't have them, okay. Second, you're gonna need a measuring tape to measure the length of your dog's back. And if you don't have a measuring tape, you can use the ruler app on your phone or even a standard piece of paper for a rough estimate. If your piece of paper is the standard eight and a half by 11, you can use the long side of the paper to estimate the length of your dog's back. For example, if your dog's back is two paper lengths, then you can estimate that it's about 22 inches or 56 centimeters long. And third, the canine sports sack sizing guide found here. Come here, bud. Where are you gonna go? Okay, lay down. Sit, sit, lay, lay, slide. <laughs> Okay, for step one, measure the length of your dog's back from the collar to the base of the tail. As you can see here, Patriot's back length is 21 inches. Now for step two, with this measurement, take a look at our sizing guide. Our sizing guide is based upon your dog's back length. As you can see, Patriot fits a size large carrier because he is within the back length range of 20 to 23 inches. Remember, sizing your dog for a canine sports sack isn't an exact science. That's why we created a sizing block, also known as a booster block. A sizing block is a three inch cushion block that fits snugly in the base of the carrier and comes in two sizes, extra small, small, and medium, large. The sizing block size correlates with the carriers of that size. We don't make a size XL to double XL sizing block because we have found that the weight of the dogs that fit in the XL and double XL carriers is enough to flatten the foam block, rendering it useless. Sizing blocks have three main uses. The first use is for growing dogs. You can always get the carrier that fits your dog's current back length and then purchase another carrier later when fully grown. But with a sizing block, if your dog is still growing, you can estimate your dog's back length when full grown, select the size that correlates with that measurement, and use a sizing block or two until they're fully grown. The second use for a sizing block is for dogs that have a back length in between carrier sizes. In this case, you wanna get the larger size carrier with the sizing block to accommodate for the lack of length. The last reason to use a sizing block might be for dog owners with a larger body frame that have a dog fit for a size extra small or small carrier. The size extra small and small carriers have a smaller dog compartment and therefore have a smaller surface area on your back. 
You can see here Ryan is 6'4", wearing a size extra small carrier, and Jen is 5'7", also wearing a size extra small carrier. In this situation, Ryan might want to size up and get a size small carrier with the sizing block so that the carrier fits more comfortably on his back and shoulders. Now that you have all the information you need to select the correct size carrier, the last thing to consider is the weight limit of each carrier model. Just because your dog measures to fit a specific size, it doesn't always mean that they will fit that model's weight range. Let's take the Air 2 for example. If your dog measures to fit in a size large, but weighs 35 pounds, the Air 2 won't work because it has a weight limit of 30 pounds. In this situation, consider a size large carrier in a model with a higher weight limit. Although weight doesn't come into the picture when selecting the correct size, it absolutely does matter when you're choosing the specific carrier model. All right, so now that you've placed an order, and received the carrier in the mail, it's time to try it on for the first time. When you're first putting or getting your dog into the carrier, it can be easy to assume that you have the wrong size if you're not doing this process correctly. So make sure to watch the how to get your dog in a backpack carrier video for instructions on this process. Obviously, it's always better to get the right size the first time you purchase a carrier. So don't hesitate to reach out to our customer experience team with any questions you might have before placing your order. We also have a free and simple exchange policy if you do need a different size. Make sure to follow us on social media to stay updated on all things Canine Sports Sack. And thanks for watching.